Book TV is asking, what are you reading? Robert Earl, author of Nights in the Pink Motel and senior advisor to former Iraqi Ambassador John Negroponte. What would you recommend to people who want to read books on Iraq? Well, I'd recommend two books to start with. Uh, the first um, is Fiasco by Tom Ricks, which is um, a fascinating study of the inadequate, uh, reckless planning that occurred uh, in Washington going into and starting uh, the invasion of Iraq. Uh, there, it is a description of, of uh, the worst kind of uh, governmental adventurism uh, on the part of a small group of, of advisors to then President George W. Bush. Uh, it's a book that's well informed on the military aspect uh, of the struggle. Uh, and reading it after I served in Iraq was, for me, personally chilling. Uh, I think if I had known some of the things that uh, Tom writes about that had already occurred prior to me and others trying to go in and help, I, I would have had very, very serious second thoughts uh, because the deck was really stacked against us and, and Fiasco's a good title uh, for the period that he describes. The second book is a book that is um, less well known uh, and, uh, and yet it's, it's extremely interesting. It's a book by Andrew Coburn called Muqtada and it's a study of uh, the the Sadrist movement that uh, Muqtada al-Sadr has led. He's a Shiite cleric from a distinguished Shiite family uh, who has had a, a populist, uh, nationalist, uh, and armed effect on the situation in Iraq. Uh, he's a very obscure individual. Uh, typically, in, in government circles, during the first few years of the Iraq war, he was dismissed with the, the appellative, a thug. He's a thug, and let's leave it at that. Uh, Coburn has a lot of trouble uh, getting at what really goes on in, in Muqtada's mind, uh, because he's an inaccessible and enigmatic uh, and somewhat paranoid individual, a fugitive personality in a sense. But he he, he, he studies the landscape of, uh, of the Shiites and the religious pedigrees. And, he lay, and the Shiites, of course, are a majority of the Iraqis. So this is a, a, a fascinating essay uh, in the largest single voting bloc uh, that has and will contribute to defining uh, Iraq's future. And uh, someone like Muqtada, who is so uh, unappealing to Americans, is nonetheless important for us to study. For schedule information and descriptions of our programs, log on to booktv.org. You can click on the Viewer Input tab and email us. Tell us what you're reading and what you think of our programs.